this video is the continuation of the lesson uh, 104 which is storing the uh, repeating section data in a secondary list so we had uh, this is our main list and then we have the data stored in the secondary list so when we run this we'll create a tc 416 and we add Click save. So the first, the top area would be stored here. The repeating section will be stored in the in this list. So we have already covered this. In this lesson, we will try to edit. We will try to show uh, the data in screen three from the uh, from here from the list so uh, in screen 2 we will go to the uh, right uh, the selection code and then uh, I will see if I have that code here yeah so it will what it will do is it will uh, first uh, take the uh, oh we have to add this secondary list uh, data source let's see if it is there okay so it's already there so that's good so here we will filter uh, we will create a variable select uh, section list data and uh, uh, here we will uh, filter this uh, gallery to uh, uh, gallery 2 ID will take this gallery 2 selected ID and filter this um, uh, data the data set based on that and that we will show in the we are storing it in this variable uh, that will of course be a uh, uh, collection because it's multiple value and then when we navigate to screen 3 uh, we will uh, uh, first uh, assign the data source here so the data source will no longer be this because we have our data source as uh, this so we don't need the id uh, we need the first name and the last name we will fix the delete later on uh, so for the plus uh, uh, so for the plus button we don't need this logic we will just add a new uh, we are not going to display ID so we'll uh, collect we will just as add a, a blank this data we don't need this ID we will not use it because it's storing in the list and we can uh, for this one uh, we will say clear and then the variable is this data okay and then this delete uh, we will uh, handle it uh, like this uh, we go here edit now we have our own uh, collection here uh, no not this one this data. yeah okay so now we will we will test this we'll go to the list ATC and we have seen this we can add we can delete now we have not yet completed the save we will complete the save in the next lessons so we can clear all go to list 
like this the same logic we'll do it in the next video so in short we have done changes here we have uh, uh, removed the logic for adding the id here we are just clearing it we have removed the id but uh, uh, text input from here the delete logic is uh, we have changed the name and this collection variable uh, you know set list data and this we are setting from here uh, the repeating section list secondary list we are filtering that data source based on the selected id so if it is 19 we are bringing only those rows in this filtering here because we have uh, you know uh, fil we are filtering based on that id uh, so once this is done we are going we are going to screen 3 and screen 3 this is assigned to that variable that collection and it will display it we have adjusted the plus the clear and the delete button accordingly so in delete we have uh, in delete we have changed the name of this uh, collection and in the next video we will cover how to save it so this is the edit screen for the repeating section uh, pulling the data bringing the data from the secondary sharepoint list and not from the delimited value data